Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just let you know before I start, I am getting sick or am sick, um, so I don't mind my voice. Uh, today I thought that I might do a pinky slash purple eye and with quite glowy skin, um, but I haven't quite decided yet, so I will once we get to that stage. So if you'd like to see me get that look, then please keep on watching. So I just put my hair up into a um, ponytail and I've just zoomed you in a little bit. So first we're just going to start on my eyebrows as usual. And I'm using my Cabral, just this one here, if it's going to focus. It doesn't seem to want to focus on the product. So this is it here, the Cabral, and I'm using the shade 4. I recently just purchased the Benefit Brow Contour Pro, this here. Um, it's got two brow shades and two highlighting shades on it. I'm still testing it out. I don't know if I... Okay, I definitely don't like it more than my Cabral, but the only reason is is because the end of it is like... It's like a... Okay, so here. The end of it's just like a circle, so it doesn't have like a point or anything. So it's sort of awkward when you're drawing it on like that, because it's not precise. So I sort of like to angle it so it's not just like a straight line if that makes sense so I'm still testing this out at the moment I'll let you know how it goes so next I'm just going to grab my NARS um what is this called again radiant creamy concealer is that it Yes, Radiant Creamy Concealer, shade Light 2.6. And I'm just going to use that to carve out my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to blend that out with my Damp Beauty sponge from Fenty. I hope that's the right angle again. My camera just turned off, so hopefully that's alright. So yeah, I'm just blending out my eyelids with my beauty blender. Sorry, my beauty sponge. Now I'm just going to be setting my eyelids with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. That was a lot of powder, but that's alright. Like all of my eyelashes, but you can't really see on camera. So I might do like a cranberry, pinky, purpley look on the eyelid. So we'll just see how it goes. So I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is my Morphe M504, and I'm first gonna be taking my Huda Beauty. What is this called? The Rose Gold Palette, and I'm gonna be taking the shade Shy. It's just that one right there, and I'm just gonna blend that all throughout my crease. Just like my transition shade. Next time I'm just going to take a tiny bit of flamingo and blend that through my crease as well but not just a little bit lower. So next I'm going to be taking my Morphe M433 and I'm going to be dipping into, I'm just going to dip into Love Letter which is in the Modern Renaissance palette and it's just that one right there. I'm just going to be popping that on my outer corner. Don't worry about this for now, I'll clean that up later. I'm just sort of winging out the shape of the eyeshadow. I'm just going to grab my big fluffy blush brush again and take the light purple shade, the shy one, and I'm just going to blend that colour out. So next on a smaller brush, I'm going to take my M506 and I'm going to take the shade Man Eater, which is just that one there, and I'm going to pop that on the right on the outer edge. I'm 
I'm actually going to take red ochre from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Not that one, it's not working very well. So I'm just going to take red ochre. And I'm just going to take a wipe and just clean up underneath. I'm just going to take some makeup remover on a cotton pad. I was going to do matte eyes, but I think I want to put a shimmer on the half of the eyelid. So I'm going to mix two shimmers. I'm going to mix one from the Modern Renaissance palette, which is called... Vermeer, which is just that one right there. It's like a like a silvery pinky type of colour. And then I'm also going to take my Morphe Time Jacqueline Hill palette and I'm just going to grab the colour Ballsy, which is just that one right there. And I'm just going to mix those together. So that's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, but that's alright. We'll blend out the edges now. So I'm just going to grab that small brush again and take the shade Red Ochre and just blend out the edges. Cool, so now that's all blended out. So it's sort of like a, it's like a white slash purpley color on that eyelid and I'm also just going to take that Vermeer shade and pop that on my brow bone and my inner corner I'm going to pop some lashes on and mascara and I'll be right back Hi everyone, so I'm back. I just want to pop down some lashes. Um, these are from EXO Beauty. They're just like outer edge ones and then I put mascara on and I did a little bit of eyeliner just to um, cover the lash line. So this is how it's looking so far. We're going to move on to our face. So I'm going to start off with a new primer that I just brought. I know it's not new but I just brought it. I've never had it before. It is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. So it's just this one here. I'm just going to pop that all over my face. Come to find that I don't think I like the smell of coconut because it's coconut and it just smells, I don't know, not, not my cup of tea. It smells nice, like semi nice, but I don't know, it's interesting. Then I'm going to take my Lumi Magique Primer by L'Oreal. Yeah. Now just for an extra little bit of glow, I usually put, usually put this on my foundation, but I'm going to put it underneath today. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect, Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I'm just going to pop that on my cheekbones. And my nose. And a bit of my forehead. And I'm just going to blend that in with my sponge. And I'm just sort of going to blend it all over my skin but mainly on those parts where I applied it. Cool so now that's all done I'm going to go in with my foundation. Today I'm going to be using two foundations. I'm going to be using my Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This is the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in the shade 4.0 and I'm also going to be going with, in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Y315 and I'm going to just take a pump of each. And I'm just using my beauty blender to apply that again. So now that that's applied, I'm just going to take it off my lips because that annoys me. It's 
So next we're going to apply concealer. And I'm going to be taking two as well, just because I, I don't know why, I always just like to mix two products. So I'm going to take my NARS one and also my Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Okay, so now that that's blended out, I'm just going to take my Tardius Pro Gold palette and take the cream contour, which is just that one there. And I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender this time to blend that out. That's all blended out. I'm now going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder again and just sit under my eyes. And I'm just going to wipe that away basically straight away. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Australis Fresh and Flawless powder in the shade Darkest Brown. I'm just going to spritz my face with a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus. Just to let that soak in all the powders. So I'm going to take the shade Shy again, which is just that one there, and I'm just going to blend that one out on my lower lash line first. Too far down, just take your where did I put it? Your translucent powder and just put the line just down the side. Then I'm gonna take the shade Love Letter, just that one there, and I'm gonna take that one on a smaller defined brush. Get on this brush here, which is the Morphe M432, and I'm just gonna pop that right near my lower lash line. gonna blend that out with that small little brush okay so I just popped some mascara lower lashes and yes I did get a big clump there but we'll wipe that off once it um dries so now I'm gonna do my bronzer and I'm gonna be taking my Too Faced bronzer just this one here and I'm gonna be using my Morphe R10 to apply that And then I'm going to be contouring with my Bahama Mama from The Balm and I'm going to be using my So Beauty brush and this is the vegan bronzer brush. And then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder again and just bake under my contour. Just like that. And I'm also going to do down the sides of my nose. I'm going to grab my blush and I'm going to be using my Tarte palette today. And I'm going to be taking the shade skillful which is just that one right there and then for my highlight I'm using my Fenty highlight in the shade Hustler Baby and 
I'm just gonna wipe off the bake. That was the wrong brush. Whoops. So now I'm gonna give myself another spritz with the MAC Fix Plus. I'm also gonna spray some of my Glam Glow Glow Setter. And I'm just gonna pat that in with my beauty sponge. I'm just gonna go and do my hair and we'll come back to finish off lips. So I just popped on some of my Gimme Brow, Gimme Brow by Benefit in the shade 3. So I thought that sings the eyes are quite out there and bright. I'm gonna go on with a quite bright and out there um, lip colour. So I'm gonna take the shade Sprinkle and this is from, well by um, Kylie Jenner. This is a Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick and I'm just gonna pop that on. So I mainly had to go off camera and do that because um, it's quite a difficult colour to apply because it's very bright and dark and whatever type of tone it is. I had to get the um, perfect shape of my lips but it's on my teeth but we got there in the end. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!